Hello, you are watching Daily Trust, and today we have the brains behind the fashion event that has sent quite a lot of people in Abuja into a frenzy. Some of us are probably beyond saving. Yusuf Abakar, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Fatima. Okay, so Abuja Fashion Week. Yeah. Um, I understand it's running from 25th to the 29th of November, and it's sponsored by Mercedes-Benz. No. Yeah? Okay, I've been looking at the um, activity on social media, yeah. and I can see quite a lot of traffic. Yeah. I'm not too surprised because basically it's um, a brand like Mr. Benz, everyone wants to get involved, um, everyone wants to take that leverage and get an opportunity because it's a global brand. Okay, and I understand there's more to this event than just clothes, just people walking the car run. So can you tell me why a fashion event in Abuja? What's the main reason behind it? I mean, I mean um, Abuja is the capital of Nigeria yes. and Nigeria is the giant of Africa and um, if we want to start, you know, Looking at all these things we have, it has to be a good because it's the heart of Nigeria. Nigeria is um, the motherland as well. Um, so what we're trying to do is to promote the culture of fashion, the culture of entrepreneurship, skills, and also youth empowerment altogether. Because if you look at the brains behind Abuja Fashion Week, they're actually young folks. So I feel I feel Abuja should represent. It's um, its name as the capital of Nigeria, and there's a lot of opportunities in Abuja. I mean, from from the youths, everyone designs, um, everyone are into music, everyone, you know, there's a lot. Okay, then. And just to make it clear, it's not a play on London Fashion Week. We shouldn't expect another London Fashion Week in Nigeria, basically. Well, at, at, that's, that, I mean, that's the prime objective, to have something that beats the international market. I mean, I've done Newcastle Fashion Week for four years. And That's Staghouse Fashion yeah, Show. Okay. Staghouse Fashion Show um, with Newcastle Fashion Week as well, any one business, um, which Men's Dispense obviously supported mm -hmm. for four years. And I did London Collection Men two years. Mm -hmm. and I feel, you know, um, these are the things we, we saw outside, you know, when we were in England. And, you know, it's something, why can't we have it in Nigeria? You've identified a problem. Basically, you think youth empowerment, and that's why you're bringing fashion show. Yeah. So, do you feel that the government is not doing enough? Is not is not providing enough opportunities for youth? That's why you feel you have to step in. I mean, the the government can only do as much as they can do. They're not doing enough. Yes. yes. You know, looking from my point of view, and from the government point of view, they can always they can only do as much as they can do, and it's now left for us, the younger generation, to actually come out and say, you know what, we want to do this. Um, Personally speaking, for stuff like Abuja Fashion Week, we expect the, minist uh, the Ministry of um, you know, Trade and Commerce to get involved. We, we expect the Ministry of um, um, International Trade. Or, expect, so they're not involved yet? They're not involved okay. yet. Okay, so, and do um, you feel, are they, are they um, showing that they're interested or you haven't heard anything back? We haven't really heard anything back. Even, you know, um, we're talking about, you know, Tourism as well. Yes. The Ministry of Tourism should be involved in stuff like this. If the government can actually make themselves more accessible for businesses, because if you look at all the heads of companies are always in Lagos. You know, all the uh, all the headquarters of these companies are in Lagos. They're never in Abuja, which is quite sad for private sectors. Yeah. You know, for Abuja being a capital, yes. it doesn't represent. So just to clean up the points, it's not just all about the clothes, the glitter, the glam. No. Basically, you're trying to address a deeper issue. Yeah. That is why you feel a fashion week should yeah. come to Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. So having said all that, what should we expect to see? A pool of, um, you know, creative designers, yes. a pool of creative artists, musicians, a pool of artists who are painters, a pool of poets, mm -hmm. you know, um, um, to get buyers, to get stores, you know, to get... Um, international community recognizing the African arts in Abuja. Um, so yeah, we, we, we're going to be showcasing something different from other fashion weeks yeah. that we've seen in, in Abuja or Nigeria. We want to be um, any single partner, unorthodox. Unique. Yeah, unorthodox. <laughs> and, yes, okay, I thought I'd not, I wouldn't tell you this until now because I'd like to surprise you, but we have a would you rather section of this. Okay. I'm going to ask you a series of questions and you're going to choose Oh my God. You might find yourself choosing between two bad options. These questions are just anywhere on the internet. All right, good. So, would you rather have the power of invisib invisibility or flight? Invisibility. Invisibility. Okay. Would you rather use eye drops made of vinegar or toilet paper made of sandpaper? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. I hate Johnson vinegar or toilet paper made of sandpaper. Oh gosh. <laughs> this one's a difficult choice. I'll take the vinegar. The vinegar, okay. Um, would you rather eat the same meal for the rest of your life or never use Instagram again? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That was a tough one. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat the same meal for the rest of my life because Instagram pays sometimes. Yeah. It actually pays. Okay. So it's a business sacrifice, really. Yeah, it's a business sacrifice. <laughs> um, would you rather live one life that lasts a thousand years or live ten lives that last a hundred years each? Um, ten lives that last a yeah. hundred. So basically you're looking for more chances. Yeah. Is that what you need? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the last one. Would you rather never laugh again or never use your smartphone again? I think I know which one you're going to go for. <laughs> never laugh again or never use your smartphone again. I can smile. Right? <laughs> nope. Never laugh. Actually, let me add smile. No, no, no. There was no smile there. I don't mind not laughing. I'll use oh, my smartphone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Yusuf, you for joining much. us. Abuja Fashion Week starts next week, Wednesday, 25th of November, and ends on Sunday, 29th of November. Expect to see a lot of workshops available, personalities talking, and motivational speeches. Don't forget, tickets are still on sale. Thank you.